In this video, we're gonna very quickly have a look at how to change a 3D printer head nozzle for the STEM T4L printer. This is a task that any teacher can do, no matter what your experience is, just follow the steps and you can very quickly replace the printer nozzle. When you get the kit uh, in the toolbox, there should be a spare nozzle and that's the little packet just here. If that is, if that space is empty, then you can request a replacement nozzle by visiting t4l.link forward slash stem help and request a new nozzle for the printer. Now you can do this process with the uh, printer turned off or on, it doesn't matter, uh, but you will want to make sure that the nozzle is not hot. So just be aware of that as we start to replace it. So the two parts, we're gonna remove the old nozzle in here and then replace the new one. So let's get right in there and you'll see that by squeezing these two little parts of the printer head, when you squeeze them together, you can then pull the nozzle out, pull it straight down and it will come out. The printer will complain a little bit saying that it's been removed. All right, so let's now have a look at the packet and in, on the back of the packet, there's an important number to take note of. So this particular packet has got a nozzle calibration number of nine. So you always pay attention to the number because you're gonna use that information pretty soon. And uh, you'll also see another number on the nozzle. Uh, on this particular one, it's 0.6 to 2.65. Now the nozzles will have different numbers on them. Write them down when you get them because you'll use them for the calibration information shortly. So let's now, again, squeeze those two little uh, things on the printer head, slide the nozzle up until it clicks in. Give it a, give the, uh, the newly installed printer nozzle a bit of a wriggle, give it a, a bit of a pull to see if it comes out. And then once, you're, um, once you know that it's firm in, in there, you can move on to the next part and that is the settings on the printer itself to tell it it's got a new nozzle. So maintain, change extruder, and then choose uh, the calibration of the number that we had in there. And we did have one that was 0.6 onwards. So we make sure that's selected. You can see there's a couple of different options there. That's why you need to check the number on the nozzle before you put pop it in. Click next. Uh, and then this second number that you saw on the back of the packet. So there it is, the packet. This one says nine. So you need to change the printer to match that number. And that way the printer knows exactly what type of nozzle is inside. Press complete. So once you've installed your nozzle, you will need to calibrate uh, the, the printer bed and that information and how to do that with this little device. There's lots of more video support on the STEM T4L YouTube channel on leveling the print bed.